Here we go. Mrs. Whittaker Marmorator. Flowers rather large, reaching eight inches or more in diameter. And don't forget, when this was written, the pools at Missouri were natural bottom pools. They did away with them. We were actually um, consultants with their new pool complex. And the real big problem there, as you may have experienced, was having aquatic weeds with a natural bottom in the pools. But uh, here we go. Flowers rather large, reaching eight inches or more in diameter, with numerous thin lavender blue petals. Leaves streaked and mottled with chestnut brown, not viviparous. Now, the only problem we had with Whittaker Marmorator is that, I, I guess it's on its third and fourth final days, it tends, even with our sunlight here, it tends to bleach, bleach a little white. But the foliage is interesting, and some years it's infinitely better than others. I've seen some marmorators in the tray which don't, didn't appear to be correct. You may have heard, I guess there's going to be a natural register of nymphias which will be good, especially for the trade. What do you mean a natural register? Well, the, I think it's the American Heart Society and the American, what do they call themselves? Uh, American Association of Botanical Gardens and Arborita, that they're going to have a, a natural, uh, a, a national registration with correct descriptions of the cultivars. It'll probably do away with the, what some of these commercial guys do with cranking out, you know, pinks, reds, yellows, and not having the cultivar names. We still get a number of inquiries here at Blomwood from home gardeners who purchase lilies on the outside which haven't been correctly named. Very Slocum had under his descriptions there. I think we may have got Marmorator back from you guys, and if, if we did, obviously it was the authentic, was the real thing. Yeah, because he got this from, from Pring, he said, in the early 70s. Okay. Like I say, and it's sky blue, the pads are exactly what you described, you know, green with chestnut. And he you know, said he got this. The are pretty distinctive. They, you know, when it's not in flower, there aren't many, many yeah, other tropicals that you could be mistaken. It's a good lily. We, I think we've got it in the pools this year. What we have this year, which is really remarkable in a way, we've got some of Martin Randig's hybrids back again. And um, I like Yellow Dazzler. We... Trail Blazer and El Dorado seem to have that habit, same thing as Aviator Pre. Some years the, the, the clone's better than others, but there's a sort of deterioration in the center of the leaf. It's a little unsightly. But I looked at both of them this morning. I, it's good you called, because I had a good morning with Tim. And um, I was looking at, you know, the display. I don't think it's Okay, well, I appreciate the information here. I'm not...